So in this video, I'm going to go through the best lead generation software if your goal is to get predictable, high quality appointments every single month with your ideal clients. These are the same lead generation tools that I'm currently using in my own business. So it's not just theory. I'm actually using the tools that I'm about to show you. And it's also the same tools that we use for our clients as well to help them get predictable leads and appointments every month in their business. So before I go through the tools, it's important to keep in mind that it doesn't matter what lead generation tool you use. If you don't have the right strategy because at the end of the day lead generation software and tools are just tools right it's not necessarily the tool that gets you the result or the software it's actually the strategy that the software or the tool uses that gets you the result so before I go through the lead generation tools that I use in my own business I thought it would be good to give you a quick overview of how the sales process actually works so you'll have a better understanding of how we use these tools to actually generate leads appointments and clients so here's an overview of the sales funnel that I use for my own business and for clients it's pretty straightforward it's pretty simple uh, just to give you a quick overview we start off with an opt-in page which is a landing page where people enter their name and email to watch a video the video is a VSL or a video sales letter which goes through what is the big problem that you solve for clients what are some alternative solutions to solve this problem and why is working with you better than those alternative solutions and then if they like what they hear on the video they can then move to the next page which is the application page and this is where you can pre-qualify the leads to make sure they're definitely going to be a good fit before they actually schedule a call in your calendar and then after they fill in the application form you then redirect them to a scheduling page where they can book a call in your calendar and then finally you send them to the call confirmation page so it doesn't matter which marketing channel you use to generate traffic as you can see here these are the ones that I am currently using all of the traffic that you generate still goes to the same sales funnel and then behind the scenes of the sales funnel obviously not all of the leads that you get that go into the sales funnel will convert into appointments and clients and that's completely normal it's impossible to get a hundred percent conversion rate at each step in the funnel but what you can do is implement some automated systems behind the scenes to help you convert more of those leads into appointments and into clients and two of the best ways you can do that is with retargeting ads and with automated follow-up emails so this is a quick overview of how the sales funnel works and what's great about this is that most of this process can be automated using lead generation software and that's what I'm going to go through and show you in this video what what are the tools that that you can use to actually automate this whole thing behind the scenes so that you get traffic again mostly automated the traffic automatically goes to these different pages and they do this again all automatically so that at the end of the day you just get booked appointments with people that are pre-qualified and ready to speak with you because they actually want to learn more about working with you so to go through the different tools that we use I want to go through step by step how how the process works and then I'm going to go through each tool that we use at different parts of the process and just to let you know some of the tools that we use is recommended and other tools are optional you don't have to use them but I do find that if you do use them they do save you some time so I'm going to go on my website to the services page and go to the done for you page since this is the most popular uh, package or service that most of our clients go with these days and in the done for you program you'll see that there's a step-by-step -step process that we take all our clients through so what I'm going to do is go through the tools that we use at different steps of the process so the first step that all clients take is to fill out a questionnaire which just gives us more information about them their business their target audience and things like that so that we can create the the marketing copy and the landing pages the ads and everything that they need to set up the lead generation campaign and then once they've filled this out we can then move to the next step which is creating the video sales letter script so remember this is for the video sales letter which is going to be one of the most important pieces of this whole sales funnel so to create the video sales letter script you don't actually need any fancy software or anything like that uh, we pretty much just do it in a google doc so i literally write video sales letter scripts in in a google document and you can do the same thing in your business but i do recommend that you write out the script first in either microsoft word a google document or even a notes app or, or anything that you feel comfortable with using to write out the script because you don't want to go ahead and record the script and then realize actually you could have changed something or maybe made it better at certain parts and then you have to re-record the whole thing again so the first thing is to create the video sales letter script again if you're a client we either do this for you if you're on our done for you package or we help you do this if you're on our consulting package once you've got the video sales letter script created in google docs or whatever word processing document you prefer to use you can then move to the next step which is to record and edit the video sales letter script now to edit the video 
video sales letter script, there's literally hundreds of different video editing tools that you can use these days, but I want to do everything I can to save time. So my recommendation is to use Descript for a few different reasons. Number one, Descript is not like using traditional video editors. When you use Descript, and you record into the program, it actually transcribes everything that you say in writing. And then you can very easily edit the text just by deleting the words that you see on the screen. So if you make a mistake, you can just delete the text and it will just disappear. So it's really easy to use and edit your videos. Obviously, again, if you're a client, then we just do this all for you. But if you're doing this yourself, then you can very easily do this as well using Descript. It's just gonna take a bit of time to obviously edit the video yourself, but it is a really good and easy tool to edit your video. And it's what most of our clients use as well. The other reason why I like using Descript is because if you go on camera, it also has an AI eye contact feature where if you're not looking directly at the screen, you can just click on a button and the software will adjust your eyes so it does look like you're looking at the camera even though technically you're not. So this can just make your videos look a little bit better because it always helps when you're looking directly at the camera when you're recording yourself. And if for whatever reason you don't want to use Descript, you're looking for something a little bit more like a traditional video editor, then another good option that has the same kind of features as Descript is also Veed. Veed is a good alternative to Descript if you're looking for more of a traditional video editor, but it doesn't have the video editing feature where you can just edit things just by removing the text. There's also a bunch of other AI features that both of these tools have. So because of time, I'm not gonna cover everything in this video, but either one of those tools are worth checking out. And by the way, I'm also going to have links in the description of this video if you want to go to any of these tools because I do sometimes get discounts from them by being one of their affiliates. So feel free to click the link in the description of this video if you want to sign up for a free trial for any of the tools that I mentioned in this video. So once you've got the video sales letter recorded, the next step is to put it on a marketing and sales funnel. Now, there are literally hundreds of different sales funnel tools out there these days. I've used pretty much almost all of them, I'd say. Uh, not every single one of them, but I have used a lot of them. So I've used, from the top of my head, I've used ClickFunnels, GrooveFunnels, HubSpot, Kajabi, Go High Level, Zoho, and a few others. And from all the tools that I've used, my favorite one and the one that I've been using for probably about six years now, I think it is, in my own business, and the one that probably 80, 90% of our clients use is Kartra. So the reason I like Kartra is because it is an all-in-one funnel building tool and it works really well for businesses. So if you go to the Kartra website, you'll see on the features, they have a lot of different things that you can do with the tool. And the features that I mainly use are the landing page and website feature. I also use the online course and membership site features, but most of my clients don't since they primarily also a service rather than an online course, but it does have that option if you want it there. It also allows you to create forms, host videos, and you know send out automated emails and pretty much all the standard stuff you'd expect from a good funnel building tool but what makes this tool different is all the little features that they've included that when you've used different tools or lots of different tools you start to realize the benefits of these little extra things that they give you. So for example, with the form builder, uh, one of the reasons this form builder is better than other form builders from other funnel building tools is because it has a memory feature where it remembers if anyone has filled in a form in the past, not just from your landing pages, but from any landing pages using Kartra. So if someone has filled in their name and email on another Kartra form somewhere else from someone else's website, it will still remember their name and email if they go to your sales funnel, if it's also built in, in culture. So it just makes things a little bit easier for your leads to enter in their, their information. On top of that, the form builder is really nicely designed. So I've used other funnel building tools where the form builder, it can sometimes look a little bit clunky and it doesn't look great. And I've had clients in the past where they've used the same landing page and they've used two different tools. And in one landing page tool, it's got a lower conversion rate compared to using Kartra. And it's just because of those little features, like uh, the way that the forms are designed and, and built behind the scenes. Another good feature that I like with Kartra compared to other funnel building tools is the video player that it has. So most other funnel building tools, if you need to upload any videos, you typically have to use a third party service. And that means you have to use Vimeo or Wistia or something like that. But with Kartra, it just comes included within the same account. And what's great about this is that the video feature also gives you access to video analytics. So some funnel building tools, even though they might let you upload your own video. So for example, with high level, you can actually upload your own video 
into high level, but high level doesn't actually give you the video engagement stats that Kartra gives you. And this extra bit of data really helps you when making decisions to improve your video sales letter and improve your conversion rate over time. So again, it has lots of small little things like this that I like, which is one of the reasons I've been using it for, for so long in, in my own business. And it's also why, again, 80, 90% of my clients use this as well. If you do want to use Kartra for your own business, I have got an exclusive discount because obviously I do refer them a lot of clients. So again, if you click the link in the description of this video you'll be able to get access to that discount for you to try them out and see what you think but anyway this is probably the main tool and what i would say would be a recommended tool uh, when it comes to getting your lead generation campaign up and running so once you've got your sales funnel created so you've created the different pages the opt-in page video page application schedule page and call confirmation page and all the different automations behind the scenes the next step is to create the follow-up email so again to create the follow-up emails super easy you can just create them in a word document that's what we typically do and once the follow-up emails look good for example with our clients if they're on the consulting package will we'll review their follow-up emails or if they're on the done for you package we'll just create the follow-up emails for them but once the follow-up emails are done you don't have to pay any extra for any additional software you can just go ahead and upload the follow-up emails directly inside of Kartra and these emails will go out as an email sequence and they'll automatically go out to leads that you generate every week or as often as you set it up and then finally once you've got your sales funnel up and running you've got the follow-up emails ready to go the next step is to actually set up the lead generation channel so if we go back to the funnel overview here this is where we actually start generating traffic right so we can use either free channels or paid channels to start generating traffic and get people going to the funnel so this step is very important because you could have the best sales funnel and the best video sales letter in the world but if no one actually sees it if no one actually knows it exists then it's pointless right because no one's ever going to see it and you're never going to generate any leads appointments or clients from it so it's very important that you have a way of generating traffic traffic and get traffic going to your funnel. So you pretty much have two paths that you can take and you can do both of these paths if you prefer. But the two main paths are you could go with organic low cost channels. So this will be things like LinkedIn outreach or doing SEO in the form of blogs or YouTube videos. And this method is very, very profitable. It's actually my favorite method. But the only downside is that it's not quick, especially if you're creating content. It, you know, it takes a while for you to create blogs and videos and things like that and for them to start running. Ranking. However, once you put in the work three, six, nine months down the line, you're going to be very happy that you did because the content that you create can actually generate leads for months and even years into the future. And I've got other videos on my channel where I go into more of a deep dive as to how all of that works and how you can create these evergreen marketing strategies. But it is a really good channel. It just takes a bit of time. The other option is you could just go with the paid channels uh, such as Facebook ads and you can just go ahead and start running ads to get people into your funnel. This is the fastest way to start generating leads but the only downside is that it costs money. So that means it's not going to be as profitable as the organic or low cost channels. And this is even if everything's converting well. Even if you have you know, your ads and everything converting well you still have to pay money for those ads. So Facebook ads is going to take a chunk of your profit. But like I said on the other hand it is very fast. So you can can get much quicker results with paid ads because you're basically just paying to get in front of people. So you can see here I've got which marketing channel works best and the reality is all the channels above can work. Uh, so we have some clients that do all of them at the same time. Others prefer to start with one or two and add more later on and ultimately it's up to you. You can decide which one will be better for you uh, based on your, your time, your budget and also based on which one you would actually like to do. So for example some clients for whatever reason they just don't want to create blogs or they don't want to create YouTube videos. So if you don't want to do that then you can use some of the alternative channels overall though i will say the clients that get the best results are the ones that do everything so the ones that do all channels because that allows them to start collecting data on which channels work better for them and then once they see which channels work better for them they can then double down and focus more on that specific channel but they all have potential it's just that some obviously can work better than others depending on your industry and, and what type of business you have and where your target audience is most likely also located so this video is all about lead generation software right so what kind of software do you need to do this well, if you're using the paid ad channels, well, there's not any software that you need to do. You're just running ads directly from Facebook ads, for example, and you send people from the ad into your opt-in page and into your funnel. So apart from Kartra, there's no other software that you need. On the other hand, if you are going to be using the organic channels, 
uh, this is where you can get some optional software. So I say optional because you don't need it. You can do it without it, but it's going to take you more time. So for LinkedIn outreach, again, there's lots of different tools that you can use. The one that I use and the one that most of our clients use is called Meet Alfred. The reason we like using that is because it's on the cloud. So you don't need to download any software to your computer or laptop locally. You just link it to your account and then it can start reaching out to people on LinkedIn automatically. So that's a really good one uh, that works well. And then the software that we use for blogging in order to rank higher at the top of Google is either ChatGPT if on the low end you just want something that's free that allows you to create content. So that's a good option. It's one of the lowest cost options. In the middle area, we also have our own AI tool that can help you create content. And then on the high end, what I think is probably the best tool, but it does cost a bit of money would be Surfer AI. So with Surfer, one of the advantages it gives you is that it actually reverse engineers what websites are ranking at the top of Google. And then it looks at those websites and then it works out what kind of keywords, headings, and length of article you should have in order to also give yourself a good chance of ranking. So we have some clients that they, they've been able to rank at the top of Google just by using Surfer AI on its own and they haven't been doing any link building or anything like that. And they've been able to get leads and appointments every single month as a result of doing that. And then when it comes to YouTube, the software that I would recommend to use would be Descript, as I mentioned earlier, to edit your videos. And if you want to optimize your videos and just make sure they have the right tags and things like that, you can optionally also also use a tool called vidIQ. Uh, now, as a disclaimer, I do have vidIQ, but I don't have the paid one. I used to have the paid one, but I just feel like in order to get good results from YouTube, it really just comes down to creating a, a good YouTube video rather than what tags and things like that that you use. So I don't really see the point personally in upgrading to the paid version of that tool. But I know many people are using the paid version. And maybe if you need help with keyword research and things like that, it does have some features that, that can potentially help you. But again, just to be upfront with you, I, I don't use any of those features. The only tool that I would typically use on YouTube YouTube would be Descript, uh, but that was in the past when I had first started my YouTube channel and now I have a video editor that does the editing for me. So using Descript is a good way to kind of start out, but then at some point it, it probably makes sense to also just use a video editor and then that way you don't have to edit the videos yourself. So those are the lead generation tools that we use in order to start generating leads. So as you can see, there's not a lot of different tools that you actually need. Uh, the main tool that you just need is Kartra because that's an all-in-one solution and that does pretty much everything or almost everything everything that you need. And then the other tools are also optional. Actually, one thing I did forget uh, on Kartra. So one of the tools I do recommend that you use, even though Kartra does have its own calendar tool, for people to schedule appointments. I don't use the Kartra one because I prefer Calendly. I, I just think Calendly from a user experience standpoint is probably the best booking or scheduling tool. So Calendly is what I use to allow people to actually schedule a call in, in my calendar. And they have both a free plan and a paid plan. Now, I would typically recommend going on the paid plan because the paid plan allows you to redirect people to a call confirmation page, which if you have a good call confirmation page, this can also increase your show up rate for the people that book a call with you and it's not a lot of money I think it's maybe like 10 or 15 dollars a month or something like that and the other reason I recommend going with a paid Calendly plan is because it allows you to send out automatic text reminders to the people that schedule a call with you which again can help increase your show up rate so that's why I would uh, use Calendly just for this step here but everything else can pretty much go on a cart chart. And then that's pretty much it. You now have a lead generation system up and running. So the only other thing you've got to do now is just to is just maintain it. So to maintain it, what other clients do and what I do in my own business is to continue to follow up with your leads using email marketing. So if you remember, if we go back for this step, when we create the follow-up emails, uh, for our clients, we create up to three months worth of weekly automated follow-up emails, but we recommend you keep following up with your leads forever. You should never stop following up with your leads, but don't just follow up with them, you know, saying, hey, do you want to schedule a call? Or hey, don't forget to schedule a call or something like that. I would recommend following up with them with valuable content. You might be wondering, well, what kind of content do you actually send them? So if you watch this video that you see on your screen right now, this will go through the best emails that you can send out to your leads in order to convert them into appointments and into clients. And this is what I recommend that you keep doing in order to maximize your results. So that's it for this video. Thanks for watching and I'll see you on the other side.